Welcome back viewers. Today we are going to install Gnome extensions. Not all, but some of the Gnome extensions as well as the extensions manager. So extensions manager is there to install the Gnome shell extensions as well as you can uninstall Gnome shell extensions that you don't want to keep. And you can also install uh, specific Gnome extensions without using the extensions manager also. So both ways it is possible. You can directly install any of the Gnome shell extension of your choice directly using the YA repository or you can install both Gnome shell extensions separately and as well as uh, install the extension managers to manage those uh, shell extensions that you are installing right now later on. So you can configure uh, you can edit the configuration of those uh, shell extensions that you installed from the EA using the extensions manager. So both are, uh, uh, we can say both can be used uh, together or you can use any one of the method and both are complementing each other and both will work together also. So first let us search which Gnome extensions are available in the repository of EA. So you have to give the command EA space capital s s dash capital s s so this will this is the search function of uh, the repository genome dash extension so it will list all the uh, shell extensions that are available in the aur repository so a is a helper of aur repository so it will help you to install uninstall search the packages from the aur repository so aur repositories contain the packages so those are not pre-compiled, only the source code is available, it will be compiled on your system. You can see here all the extensions are seen here. Now you can uh, search both Gnome shell extensions and the extension manager together and then once you are assured that those packages that you are searching is available in the AUR repository using A, then you can install those packages using the ye, ye space dash capital S genome dash shell dash extensions and the extension dash manager. So that will compile these two packages first. It will download the package, then it will compile that package and that package will be installed on your system. So you can see it here. The download is happening. Then it will uh, build the package in a clean area. Sometimes the dependencies that are required is downloaded and you can specify to uninstall the dependencies once the building of the required package is done. You can see here and the installation is complete and these are some extra additional packages required. So they are de dependency packages. So those also will be downloaded and installed. You can see the building action is going on here. And once the building action is completed, the unrequired packages can be uninstalled. So you have to specify that before the installation and the compilation starts. So this is, you can see this is what the compilation uh, and the installation of packages is going. So this is the installation. You can see the files are getting installed to the path, system paths. then the configuration is getting updated. I will go slow so that uh, in video you can later on check the progress of the installation. You can see the config status is getting updated. Some files are getting make. So make is nothing but building of the file from the source. Package or file from the source file or the source package. That's it. So here you can see some conflicting packages are there. Some extra packages are required. So those also get installed. So it's very easy. Nothing you are you are not to do anything. You have to just specify the action. So what exactly to be done with the dependencies? Do you want to keep the dependencies uh, after the installation is over? Do you want to build all the packages because some of the packages might be already there uh, 
uh, on your system so those packages need not be rebuilt again otherwise of course you can rebuild them but that will take uh, more time so better is to only compile those packages which are not available on your system and delete or clean or you can say trash all the unrequired dependencies after the installation is complete so the dependencies will be there on the system till the uh, clean build of the required package is done once the clean build of the required package is done all those unnecessary files will be automatically deleted by the pacman or the package manager here you can see the installation is going on and once that is done i will just go little slow now now we can go ahead so just installation is there so it is all automatic you need not uh, go in that detail right now we will slowly and slowly we will go in more detail so first learn the basics then we can go ahead once we are comfortable we will go ahead so you can see here the configuration files are getting uh, updated and configured you can see here so these are the packages that are not required now so those can can be uh, removed why i am telling you that uh, you have to uninstall the unrequired packages because uh, what happens is you you might install many software packages on your system and every time the dependencies will also get installed and you might not require the dependencies later on so why to keep on your system and increase the clutter also sometimes the there is a difficulty in uh, package dependency resolution because too many packages are there then there is always some conflicting packages and that will keep create instability in your system and your system might give you trouble booting up or it might uh, crash so better is to remove the unnecessary packages once the your required package is clean built so that's it so here you can see the installation is complete so this is the way to install the gnome shell extensions and the extensions manager further i will show you the extensions manager where is the extensions manager i right, yes so here this is the extensions manager i will show you so here you can see you have to just uh, at, with one toggle you can disable or enable all the extensions so i had installed the dash to dock dash to panel dash to dock light which is right now enabled vitals also i installed so this is the vitals i have done a video earlier you can check the that there are some built uh, built in uh, extensions so this come along with the gnome desktop so whenever you install the gnome desktop these are the default packages which come uh, default extension packages which come and they are installed you have to just enable them they are already there in the system right after the installation so those packages also shown so here with, here uh, with this extensions manager you can manage all your extensions you can also install also so that i have shown you in the vitals uh, video when we install the vitals extension how to install search and install the required gnome shell extension you can watch that video so i am now going to stop the video here see in the next video with some other uh, information about the linux operating system bye bye